What's up, guys? This is William from Negro Randy. We with another video. And, guys, we got another video about Meg the Stallion. Oh, man. Meg the Stallion and Gail King. Now, you gotta really put it up. Gail King and Oprah, these two sisters are always coming to the aid of other sisters. No matter how bad the situation is. No matter how bad the situation is, you can always rely on Oprah and Gil King to bash black men. They're like the go-to people to protect you if you're a black woman, no matter how bad it is. Make the Stallion, you know, she can make songs about stripping, about robbing men, about, you know, <coughs> drugging, <coughs> very scantily clad clothing, and Oprah and Gil King will defend this sister all the way. All of her songs are just a bunch of trash and are not good for our young black women nowadays. But it doesn't matter. Gail King and Oprah will always protect you no matter what the situation is. Even now, when Tory Lanez <laughs> is now being discovered that he wasn't even the one taking the shot. And it was the ex, this, uh, this he, she, this, this girlfriend of Meg Thee Stallion is starting to show that she was the one that doing the shooting. And now... They're getting caught up in the lie. But Gail King and Oprah, black women could do no wrong. And look at them. They, 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 they go ahead and they do this show. So Tory Lanez, he has a gag order that he's not talking about the situation. But why is it Meg Thee Stallion is able to talk to Gail King publicly about the situation? How come there's no gag order on Meg Thee Stallion? And they got, look, look at Meg Thee Stallion out here. They got this lady doing this fake crying with no tears. Everybody out here calling about that this is Cap. <laughs> now what she's doing, this is, this is Cap, man. This is all Cap. <laughs> what she's saying. She can't even cry. She, she, no even real teardrops. They could have had at least some water drop, put some water drop in her eye. But that's why a lot of people are calling out Cap on this situation. Anyways, guys, let's watch the... The interview, anyways. It was an argument in the car. It, it was it an was argument because, because I, was I was ready to go, to go and everybody, everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. but, that's but that's like normal yeah. friends yeah. stuff. Like, like yeah. we, we fuss, fuss about, about silly, silly, silly stuff, stuff all the all time. time. Mm -hmm. but, but I never put, put my hands on anybody. I never, never raised, raised my voice, voice too loud. Like this was one of the times where it was like. It shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. that it did. So I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming. Is, he said, dance, bitch. And he started shooting. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, he shot a couple of times. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? He, he is standing, standing up, up over, over the, the window, window. Okay. shooting. Uh -huh. And... and I didn't, I didn't even want to move. move. I didn't want to move too quick. quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong <coughs> step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he can shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that time? I was really scared cause I had never been shot at before. <laughs> oh guys, come on now guys. This, this is getting ridiculous now. Like, they're already showing that the gun has none of its fingerprints and the residue. But how come there's a gag order on Tory Lanez? They want to silence his part of the story, his side of the story. But nobody's silencing Meg the Stallion side of the story. You, you, you see where we're going with this? And, you know, they, 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 you know it's always about the believe all women stuff. Meg Thee Stallion, exclusive interview with Gail King, where she discussed her version of the events that transpired on the night when she claimed ex-boyfriend Tori Lay shot at her. Oh man, come on guys, this is, this is, this is, this is Cav. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You know my God, stop fucking lying. So there, in the interview, Meg claims that Tori were having an argument and that she was calm. 
Then Tori faced her out of the car and said the dance be, well, I can't swear, so I'll, I'll leave that one out. But uh, this was Black, Titter, Black Twitter, man, they're ruthless. They started pointing out that Meg seemed very emotional in the interview, but uh, there was no crying. Uh, what happened? They thought it was kind of strange. There was no crying. And then they said Tori and his team also say that they doubt Meg even remembers what happened that night. She was so intoxicated by the amount of alcohol that she consumed. There you go. Another way that her, that is changing out. So it says right here, man, to Tori, who tells a different, completely different tale. Tori claims that Meg started the fight with her alleged drunken and belligerent behavior. <laughs> because she was upset when she found out that Tori Lane was, you know, having fun with her girlfriend. And so... When they found out both of them were having, you know, that, that's when that Meg Thee Stallion got upset. <laughs> so like, how are you going to have both of us? I thought you were my, you know, my Negro. I'm not going to say the N-word. My Negro. And that's what happened. One, one witness claims to have seen a woman, not Tori, in the area close to where the witness believes the gunshot originated. Uh-oh. Some eyewitnesses are also siding with Tory Lane that were there. Unfortunately, Tory is barred from giving his side of the story, but there's no gag order on Meg Thee Stallion. How come she doesn't get a gag order? A judge put a gag order on the rapper and put a $500,000 bail on Tory Lane, preventing him from rebutting what Meg is putting out. You see, you see, believe all women type of nonsense going on. Huh? Believe all women. Women can tell no lie. And they got Oprah and Gail as the gatekeeper protecting these sisters. Even when they do a lot of bad stuff with their videos and this total nonsense, they still protect these sisters and try to make them out as good role models. Oh, man. There's so many other sisters that Gail can and, Op and Oprah could prop up. There's so many other sisters that they need to focus on. Like, leave Maggie Stallion. An, an ex stripper, leave her alone. Anyways, guys, what do y'all think, man? Leave your comments down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That's all I gotta say. Bye bye. Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes. Look at you.